The full moon cast a pale, eerie light across the expanse of the graveyard, casting shadows that seemed to writhe and dance upon the ancient tombstones. A chilling wind rustled the dry leaves, creating a symphony of whispers that added to the foreboding atmosphere. Lockwood and Coe, concealed behind a dilapidated mausoleum, were on high alert. They had managed to corner Winkman's trail but hadn't anticipated that the nefarious man would retaliate this fast. To make matters more complicated, Kip's crew, led by the enigmatic Rose Marie, had been shadowing them. As the wind howled, the distant sound of footsteps grew nearer. It wasn't long before the imposing silhouette of Winkman's bulky enforcer emerged from the fog. The man, known for his brute strength, held gleaming chains in his meaty fists, the links catching the moonlight as they slithered. Rose Marie stepped out from behind a tall gravestone, her rapier glinting, her expression steely. The bulky man grinned maliciously, his eyes locked onto her. Fancy meeting you here, lass, he sneered, swinging his chains menacingly. With swift, balletic grace, Rose Marie dodged his first swing. However, he was faster than he looked. On his second swing, the chain looped around her neck, pulling her towards him. Choking and gasping, her vision blurring, Rose Marie struggled against the oppressive grip of the chains. Desperation fueled her actions. Her hand darted to her pocket, extracting a small but sharp pocket knife. With all the strength she could muster, she jabbed it deep into the man's foot. He roared in pain, momentarily loosening his grip. Seizing the opportunity, Rose Marie lunged forward, using the top of her head to collide with his nose. The crunching sound and his howl of pain confirmed its break. Staggering back, the enforcer's foot inadvertently found the edge of an open grave. Rose Marie, gathering every ounce of her strength, charged, driving her shoulder into his midsection and sending him toppling backward. As he fell, a ghostly apparition drawn by the commotion lunged at him from the pit. The man's screams echoed through the night, mingling with the wind's mournful cries. With the immediate threat neutralised, Rose Marie caught her breath, rubbing her sore neck. As she glanced around, she saw both teams, Kipps and Lockwoods, in various stages of combat with Winkman's crew and the restless spirits disturbed by their presence. With renewed determination, Rose Marie plunged back into the fray, ready to ensure the safety of the bone glass and to confront Winkman himself. The graveyard had become a battleground, and the night was far from over.